what are your concerns about people using ChatGPT as a on-hand 24-7 diagnoser of all of their mental issues? So what's your understanding of how ChatGPT works? Prediction. What is it predicting based off of? Existing corpuses of text and now some synthetic data as well. And, and mm -hmm. So I'm sure I'm wrong because I don't, I'm not a software engineer in AI, but here's my understanding of it. The first thing is that AI is trained on the internet. Mm -hmm. It doesn't know how to discriminate between good information or bad information. So if you look at these negative cases of AI, what we tend to find is that they're deep in conversations. Mm -hmm. So if I ask ChatGPT three questions about one topic, if we have three rounds of chat uh, of back and forth, it tends to do pretty well. Mm. But basically, deep down is like Reddit and 4chan. Mm. Like really. Mm. So the, the further down you go, the more weird the conversation gets. And that's because my understanding is that what ChatGPT does, it rates its the quality of its response based on the response of the user. Mm -hmm. So what's right is what satisfies the user. That's what it's really. It's why on. you end up with this tendency towards sycophancy. So I, I think I think we I did a really cool experiment where I, I got together with two buddies of mine, uh, two two therapist friends, and we basically tried to get ChatGPT. We wrote up clinical cases and we gave it to ChatGPT and asked it for a diagnosis. Okay. Um, it's quite good. So I was shocked at how good it is at taking a stem of information and finding certain things in it. Um, but I think the problem is that basically it's never going to tell you that you're wrong unless you ask for it. Yep. And even if you ask for it, it's going to tell you you're wrong in a way that you're okay with. So it'll never truly challenge you. I think that's why we get to these things like it'll tell you to kill yourself. 